In this next video, I want to talk about why certain traditional abdominal exercises that people are doing can be harmful. So let's show you a couple popular abdominal exercises and how they are actually harming the back and why you should avoid doing them until your abs get really strong. I've had many patients come to me saying that they've gotten pain after doing the plank exercise. So the problem is when often when people try and do the plank, you can see right here what I'm doing wrong is I'm hyperextending my lower back. So if you're getting into that position where you're hyperextending your lower back, it's causing you harm. You need to pull the pubic bone up towards you. You can clench your buttocks a little bit. And now actually my abs start to quiver because they're getting fatigued. So this is the right way to do a plank. This could also be done off the elbows, okay? But notice how I tip my pelvis forward towards me and now my abs are winning and when my abs win, my lower back is winning. Other common exercises where people harm themselves would be leg lift maneuvers. So a popular exercise would be like things like flutter kicks or le you know leg lifts like this. The problem is because you heavily engage your hip flexors, which are pulling on your pelvis and your lower back, that will cause you to tip your pelvis forward or anterior tilt, which will again get you to excessively extend your lower back. All right. So it's very, it's very rare that an individual has enough abdominal strength to do motions like leg lifts or flutter kicks, keeping their low back real flat. If you do have the ab strength, check it. See if you can get your back flat to the floor. So don't put your hands underneath your buttocks, flatten your lower back to the floor, keep it there, and then see what you can do with respect to leg movements, okay? So this is kind of difficult right now, but my, my abs are winning, my low back's flat to the floor. To get all the way down like this, I get to about maybe here, then my um, lower back starts to lift up. When my lower back starts to lift up, my abdominals lose. When my abdominals lose, my back loses, I get back pain. So a lot of people, they're trying to get their core strong so that they don't get back pain, but little do they know they're actually causing their back harm because they can't keep that flat back posture. Um, some people call it being imprinted, all right? So if you're doing core workouts and you have back pain afterwards, check to see if, is your low back flat to the floor? Are you really letting your abdominals win? Also too, are you training core stability? Or are you doing motions with a bunch of twisting like this and sit-ups and motions like that where you're actually over moving your back? And thus causing it harm. So think about core stability when you train your lower back. And if you don't really know what that is, watch a bunch of the other videos. So you can uh, figure out how to um, gradually give yourself a better abdominal workout without causing yourself harm.